Good morning. We had a technical difficulty yesterday uh, here at uh, Church of the Good Shepherd, and and that prevented the recording of our service, except for really the last half of it, which meant that all of my sermon and <clears throat> half of the, the entire service was is just gone. And so uh, I didn't like that, and I thought I really had an um, important message to share with the kids this week, so I thought I darn well better share it. So. And with that, I want to talk to the kids. And so here's the question for this morning. And that is, if you could have any superpower that you wanted, what would it be? Think about that for a minute. Any superpower, like, you know, I'm sure you've seen some of the superheroes on TV or movies, that kind of thing. So if you could have a power, what would it be? Well, for me, when I was, especially when I was a kid, what I really wanted to do was be able to fly. And I don't mean becoming a pilot and flying in jets and planes and that kind of thing. I meant being able to just fly, like Superman could fly. And of course that's impossible, but when I would think about it and I would kind of dream about it, uh, I, that's what I would do. And I actually would have dreams where I could fly. And, and, uh, and that was really cool because, and, and what did I think about then? I thought about the places I could go about going up really high in the sky or maybe heading out uh, to different places and seeing different sights and different things. And, and I thought that would be really cool. Well, now that I'm a little bit older, I realize that a, a better question would be, what should I do with that? In other words, if I was able to fly, then what could I do? Well, I could go and rescue people who were stuck in high places or I could uh, maybe go and work on things that were really high up that would be dangerous for other people to get to with ladders or or uh, things like that. You know, so you know, I could go up high and observe things. You know, I could be almost like a personal drone. You know, anything I could, I could do a lot of good. And and if I was not so well inclined, then if I could fly, I could do things that weren't really good. I could go and take stuff and fly away or do something wrong and just fly away. And so you realize then that, that uh, what you do with an ability is really more important than the ability itself. Now, God has given you a lot of abilities. One of the most important abilities he's given you is the ability to talk. And there was a time, and it wasn't necessarily that long ago, that you were very small and you couldn't talk. And so everybody in your life was was talking to you really slowly and sweetly and carefully and trying to get you to, to where you could speak. And then once you started to talk, then they started wondering, well, what are they gonna say next, right? Or will they ever stop talking sometimes? And, uh, but you see, speech is a very, very important power. And with a great power then comes great responsibility. If you, you can use your speech for a lot of really good things. You can help people out, you can teach people, you can show people things, you can help people feel better, you can um, have fun, uh, you can laugh, you know, tell jokes, and, and you know, all kinds of really great and fun things that you could do with, with your speech. There's also a lot of really hard things and bad things that we can do with our speech. We can, we can gossip about people, we can uh, say mean things, we can hurt feelings, uh, we can really destroy people by just using our mouths and, and make them feel terrible. And so, uh, remember that, that, that God has given you great and extraordinary powers, and with your great and extraordinary powers come great responsibilities. You have got such tremendous potential. The potential could go in any direction. And so the real question then comes, Who's leading you? And how do you decide what to do and what not to do? And how to go about doing the things that you think are good because you have to do them also in a good way as you do them. Okay? And so, uh, being careful about where you're getting your guidance from is very important as you grow. So pay attention to whom you're listening and who's guiding you and who's leading you and try to keep it always on pace with what God's wanting to do 
in your life. And if you do that, then you'll find that God will use you to bless others and he will bless you in the process. So let's pray about that. Repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you so much for creating us and for giving us great powers and great responsibilities. And we pray, dear God, that you would help us to always follow where you would lead and to do what you would have us do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so whatever's going on in your life today, go out and use the powers that God has given you to do great things, to do good things, to do the loving things, and, uh, and be a light of his grace. Amen.